빨리 가십니다. 오늘은 상수치기 꺼질게요. 어, 아닌데, 이거? The brave and beautiful queen. Esther was the queen of Persia. Even her husband, King Xerxes, didn't know her secret. Esther was Jewish. Esther's cousin Mordecai worked at the palace and looked out for her. Xerxes' advisor Haman received a great reward. He was very proud. Everyone except Mordecai bowed down to him. Haman was insulted. He vowed to kill Mordecai and all the Jews. Haman told Xerxes that the Jews were dangerous and should die. Xerxes agreed and set a day to kill them. Mordecai was terrified and sent a message to Queen Esther. Change the king's mind, said Mordecai. If I go to him without his invitation, he can have me killed, Esther replied. Perhaps you are made queen just for this moment, said Mordecai. Esther bravely agreed to try. She went to the throne room. King Xerxes was amazed by her beauty and invited her in. Can we have dinner with Haman? She asked. Who told Esther to change the king's mind about killing the Jews? Haman was building a big gallows in his backyard. He planned to hang Mordecai on it. Then the king's invitation arrived, so Haman went to the palace for dinner. A man wants to kill me and my people, the Jews, Esther told Xerxes. Who would do such a thing? he asked. The evil Haman, Esther cried. Haman, guards, put him to death. <laughs> so Haman was hanged on the gallows he'd built for Mordecai. Because of Esther, the Jews were saved. They celebrated with a great feast, which they observe to this day. God allowed Esther to be the queen at this time to save the Jewish people from death. True or false? Yes. The walls go up. Nehemiah was the cupbearer to King Artaxerxes of Persia. Nehemiah heard that Jerusalem was in ruins and that his friends there were in trouble. He asked God to help them. God gave Nehemiah the courage to speak to King Artaxerxes. Nehemiah asked if he could go to Jerusalem and help them fix their walls. Artaxerxes agreed. Nehemiah left for Jerusalem. Nehemiah walked around Jerusalem. Things were even worse than he'd heard. This will be a big job, he told the people. But with God's help, we can rebuild these walls. Everyone worked in families and groups, fixing the gates first. They fixed the sheep gate, 
the fish gate, the dung gate, and the other gates. Then they started rebuilding the walls. First, their enemies laughed. But as the walls grew higher, those enemies prepared to attack. So God's people worked with a tool in one hand and a sword in the other. After just 52 days, the wall was finished. Ezra the priest read God's law to the people. They promised to obey God's law and praised him for protecting them. After the walls were finished, who taught God's law to the people? The walls go up. The first Christmas gift. The angel Gabriel told Mary, You will have a baby. How? asked Mary. I'm not married. God's Holy Spirit will come down to you. The baby will be God's son. Mary believed him. Mary was engaged to Joseph, but he didn't believe her story. So an angel visited him too. Mary's not lying. Her baby will be God's son. You must name him Jesus. Many months passed. Then, they traveled to Bethlehem, Joseph's hometown, to be counted by the government. After that long journey, who told Mary she was going to have a baby? But all the inns in Bethlehem were full. So God's son was born in a stable, wrapped in cloths, and laid on a bed of hay. They named him Jesus. shepherds in the hills near Bethlehem. Good news, the angel said. Your savior has been born. He's in Bethlehem lying in a manger. No point now. Was God's son, Jesus, born in Bethlehem in a stable? Suddenly, more angels appeared. So many of them that they filled the skies. Praise God in heaven, they all say. And may everyone who pleases him receive his peace. When the angels left, the shepherds hurried to Bethlehem. They found the baby, their savior lying on a bed of hay. It was just as the first angel had said. After the shepherds had seen Jesus, they went through the town. They were very excited. They told everyone what had happened, and they praised God for what he had done. saw Jesus, they quietly went home. Yes. True or false? The beloved son. 
Before God sends his special savior, said the prophet Malachi, a messenger will come to prepare the way for him. So John came before Jesus, preaching by the Jordan River. Prepare the way for the Lord, John said. God is sending someone very special to his people. Change your ways. Turn from the bad things you have done. Be baptized. So that's what people did. Are you the promised one? They asked. No, said John. I'm not worthy to even carry his sandals. He will do amazing things. You'll see. Jesus came to John to be baptized. When John saw Jesus, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. I want you to baptize me, Jesus said. No, John replied. I need to be baptized by you. Trust me, said Jesus. This is the right thing to do. So John baptized Jesus. God's spirit came down on Jesus like a dove. This is my son, God said. I love him. He pleases me very much. While John was baptizing him, God's spirit came down on his son Jesus like a blank. Oh yeah. A test in the desert. God's spirit led Jesus into the desert. He had nothing to eat for 40 days and nights. After that, Jesus was very hungry. Knowing that Jesus was hungry, Satan tempted him. He pointed to a rock and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these rocks to become bread. <laughs> Jesus answered Satan using God's words from the Bible. It's not just bread that keeps people alive, he said. Their lives also depend on what God says. <laughs> Next. Satan took Jesus to the top of the temple. If you are the Son of God, jump off. The scripture, did Jesus turn rocks into bread when he was hungry? So Jesus used God's word to give his second answer. Do not put the Lord your God to the test, he said, quoting again from the Bible. Finally, Satan took Jesus to a mountain and showed him all the world's kingdoms and wealth. This can be yours, he said, if you bow down and worship me. Go away, Satan, Jesus commanded. Then he quoted God's word one more time. For it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. As soon as Jesus said it, Satan left him. Then angels came and cared for him. Jesus had faced temptation and hadn't sinned. Not even once. When Satan tempted him, Jesus quoted God's words from the Bible and never sinned. True or false? Yeah. Jump up. A test in the desert. The king and the kingdom. 
읽어 드릴게요. Jesus traveled teaching about the kingdom of heaven and crowds followed him. They didn't know yet that Jesus is the king, but he taught them how to live as people of his kingdom. People do good, said Jesus, because of the good in their hearts. People do evil when evil is in their hearts. God wants to make your heart like his heart. 나쁜 사람도 없고 이런 곳이에요. 천국는 천국 어 천국는 제대에 앉은 사람만 갈수 있죠. 또 봐요. 빠빠이. 잘 가요.